All right, everybody, we just got our Tundra back. It's been completely transformed. Uh, it's got all new armor on it. Uh, we're gonna check it out, show you some of the features, and then I'm gonna show Fanny the vehicle for the first time. She'll check it out, get her thoughts, and then, uh, yeah, give you an update on what we got in store for it in the future. Let's go. So there's the truck. We just got the uh, True North Fab new front bumper, rock sliders, and skid plate on. Uh, we also slapped the topper and the tent on. I uh, really like how this bumper came out. Um, I want you to look at this line here. It's basically a bolt on wing. So behind the actual uh, front fascia here, there's uh, two bolts, and you can change the entire look of this front bumper. So you can get a full plate version later, or you can do the hybrid tube like we're doing. Uh, that's a really cool feature. I don't see a lot in uh, other bumpers. Really, really like how these, you know, cuts and the way it moves with the body. Um, love these welds. It just goes with the body line so nice. They've uh, integrated all the radar, parking sensors, and so on all over the front of this bumper, so everything bolts in really nice or clips in. Super clean. It's got the new logo on it. And I wanted to show you kind of a side profile view. Um, this thing is so clean. This is such a good angle. Uh, really tied up to the body. Goes with the line so well. Quick little look at the skid plate. And this is the first prototype, so the one that's in production is going to be you know, even better. We also slapped on the rock sliders. Um, we went with the flat option. They have a up angled option as well, but we have dogs and we decided to get side steps and keep it flat because we didn't want their foot getting stuck when they jump down. Um, but when you're working on the tent or on the roof, uh, it's got a nice big flat blade on the back side. And then this kick out as well, so. Really makes just using the rock slider a lot better. Then we went ahead and got a Lear 100RCC commercial grade topper. Uh, this is color matched and we also got rid of the solid windows and added wind doors. The commercial grade toppers can handle a lot more roof weight, that's why we did that. So, you know, if you're going to pick up a topper and put a tent on, uh, I'd definitely upgrade to the more commercial grade toppers. This uh, tent is our James Baroud. Uh, we actually had it on the previous vehicle, we had a quicksand tundra. Uh, we went ahead and color matched this one uh, to like a midnight Toyota black that you can see on like limited forerunners and the tent basically has no branding on it because we had it painted but it used to be quicksand color so but I think the black and the green obviously goes well told Fanny to come by, so we're gonna show her the vehicle now and uh, see what she thinks. This looks really good. I mean, from the tires, this lift, the whole combination, I like this. Those side steps, really, really good, because how wide they are, Cookie's really gonna love that. 
Cookie is our dog. Oh man, look at the detail on this. Look how it follows these lines right here. This is nice, man. Ooh, I like the new logo too. Nice little mountain. Love how they put the lights in here. These welds look fabulous. Are those? Oh man, they even put the logo on the skid plates. Cool. Yeah, man, this truck looks good, dude. This, I mean, really makes it look really beefy. The suspension, the tire size I like. All right, I'm just gonna try it out just for cookie. Yeah, I love, I love how wide this is. Awesome. What do you think about the topper? I'm gonna see. Let me see how heavy this is. It's the same one we had in our Tacoma. <sighs> love me some new shocks. Back in uh, 2016, we had a Kitty uh, off-road. These are so fun when the dogs are in here. Where they can stick their head out. Yeah, man, this is gonna be nice. Open the trunk, the truck bed. Everything lights up. Ooh, classy. Yeah, pretty cool. So this topper has wind doors and uh, you can slide open one of those windows and it's got a screen so the dog can't get out. But then you could also pop open the entire door uh, or window, I should say, which is nice. And then we added uh, some bed stiffeners. Yeah, it's great. Very nice, kind of a brush steel look. And that'll help you know, when you're off-roading and you have all this weight up there, tent and topper. Uh, a lot of times you end up with cracks in the bed here, previous tundras and Tacomas. Um, so that'll help with that. Stop some of the vibration. Yeah, man, this thing is trail ready. I can't wait. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Uh, we're going to take this thing to T4R Experience, an event we host. We do trail cleanups. We're going to take it to Destination Outdoor as well, another event we host. And then uh, we've got a Wyoming trip planned, a uh, Colorado trip planned, uh, you know, lots of road trips and off-roading in between. We're also going to do a whole lot of different mods on this thing. So if you want to see this thing and uh, what we end up doing with it, subscribe. Until then, thanks for watching.